So I've taken one pass out of a Go Power Sports one inch axle. I'm turning it down to five eighths of an inch to make an adapter to run the jack shaft on the diesel buggy. All right, so it's been a couple weeks since we got to mess with this deuce, but well, it's been a couple weeks since you guys seen it. So Dave ended up having this huge uh, Harley cogged belt. So what did you say this is off of? It's a three inch open primary from a soft tail. So he gave me a used pulley and then I bought this new one. And it so happens that I drilled it up two sizes and it bolted directly to the crankshaft, like centered. Yeah, there's the used one he brought. So he gave me this belt and this, uh, was it 47 tooth? 49. Uh, and then we just bought a exact match for it. So now we'll have a cogged belt that drives a jack shaft that's gonna drive our differential because this diff, this had to be centered on the chassis. I wanted this since it's so heavy to be centered and I couldn't put the CVT pulley out there because it had been, nothing would have lined up. So basically we're making a jack shaft that's gonna sit right here we're gonna have to cut this tube out because it's in the way to get this lined up it's basically gonna set somewhere like that and the player or no a club car diesel club car pulley is gonna set right there so Dave made this on the lathe this is tapped for three three eighths yes. bolt and he turned this down to five eighths we put that little cone adapter then he made that little slug that goes in the end that also sleeves on that so it all sandwiches and then uh, the tapered adapter to go from one inch shaft one inch shaft to the tapered shaft for the club car yeah those are on all these links for like this pull not this pulley this is really hard to find pulley Dave's buddy gave it to him just out of a parts bend and he gave it to me so that was really nice because those are hard to find so, so now I'll go together like that the bolt in the end clamps everything together and tightens up the taper lock and this is the shaft you guys seen us make at the first of the video Okay, so, well, it actually goes like this. So then we got Go Power Sports one inch bearings because we did turn this out of a, let me slide it more my way, actually. Out of a one inch shaft. So, you know, we can't when really this tube comes out, this will set down, clear the water pulley. Ooh. And so that's how this is gonna be set up. We just have to get a shorter belt you know measure for our belt size and we got to make sure this is this is our most important that can be a hair bit off and you're never going to know it really this is what's important because we don't want our belt walking and the best thing about this is it's cogged so if water splashed it or whatever which we're going to have splash guards in here kind of like inner fenders but so our plan today is to get this mounted up we got to cut a bunch of the chassis out we're going to try to get this mounted and uh, then we're going to mount, I'm going to build the turbo manifold and we're going to get the turbo and hopefully the stack done on this. So this is the most important thing right now. And then uh, in the next episode, you'll see us build these little jack shafts that's going to hold our CVs and we'll build our trailing arm. So let's get to work.
go inside of here and bore this out to match. Then I'm gonna back purge this whole entire header once I get the whole shape of it. And then we can get everything TIG welded up, super clean. Back purging it, it's gonna weld it on the inside as well as the out. While you're welding the outside, it's gonna weld the inside. I did blow through this. This 90, unfortunately, is super thin compared to these. Uh, but I would rather use this thin instead of using my thicker 90s. I'd rather use them out here for strength holding that turbo up. And I'm gonna do a brace to the engine, but this shouldn't hurt anything being this thin the very end there. But I'll have to patch up this blow through hole, which is unfortunate. So this turbo exhaust flange is oval. So we have a piece of two and a half inch to two inch. My stack is gonna be two inch. So I'm gonna take this two and a half inch piece and oval it in the vise. Then we can set it on there and TIG weld it. Uh, so we got a nice exhaust outlet. I've already actually tested this on uh, another piece of exhaust that was not stainless. overflow can at the highest point it'll never drain on you unless it was to explode and it shouldn't explode because it's going to be drained to the atmosphere for environmental safety we have the original air can hopefully we can find like a can in air replacement because that's the paper style but uh, we also can put it on hoon mode and just pull that pipe off and have an air filter for when we're skedaddling around here 
Civic radiator. We're going to do uh, a guard on this and probably some uh, mesh. And we've got to still mount the intercooler. It'd be cool to put it side by side right here. Because we was going to put it back here, but it's just a little too cramped. Boom, Bob, Bob, Bitty Boo, Bob's uncle. Got to do the um, roof rack next, too. Got to build that puppy. Dave's almost got the axle shafts. He had to cut them down, and we found out that the stock axle shafts are hardened on the outside, not the inside, so that's good for us. And we made he made these bearing flanges that went on these bearing flanges, so no bearings inside of this. This is just kind of an extension. These will be welded here. A little C-clip will hold the axles in. Pretty cool setup. But, uh, and that turbo is mounted. That thing looks sick. Back to work. All righty, guys. So that's all we have time for in today's video. I think it's looking awesome. We still got to mount the intercooler. And I'm waiting on another kit of these aluminum piping uh, to get some bends. This is one and a half inch pipe or tubing. Uh, basically, we have a quarter inch output. I upped it to one and a half. And then the intake is actually one and a half. So that'll be a uh, direct couple there, like direct size. But uh, the only place we have silicone connectors is here and on the intake. It's going to actually be welded to V-bands, uh, O-ringed V-bands on the intercooler. Uh, but we want it to flex. Just, I mean, this engine shouldn't move. It's solid mounted, but heat can move things. So we just wanted a little flex there. Uh, Turbo is all mounted up. We haven't done the dump pipe yet for the oil return. I'm going to have to pull the oil pan and TIG weld an 8A in line. And then I'm going to adapt this to 8A in line, the dump. So it's all nice fittings. But uh, everything turned out awesome. Got the header fully made. I haven't made the brace for the turbo either. But really like the way this setup looks. It's super complicated. But it is my favorite setup we've ever done. My favorite build for sure. I got that old lawnmower and I got a new couple or new neck coming that is a little longer and looks nicer. Uh, and we're gonna keep uh, going on on this thing. Also, we got everything to build the little axle stubs. We'll show you that on the next video where we machine all this stuff. Uh, Dave's been running the crap out of that lathe and it has been such a blessing having him and the lathe running. That's been awesome. So, um, so next episode, we should be able to uh, do the trailing arms and get this back drivetrain buttoned up. And then it's just wiring, finishing up the front end because we never had put the steering shaft in and stuff. Uh, a lot left to do but she's coming along as always guys make sure to tell us what you think of the build in the comment section below whether i reply or not i'm trying to read all the comments that i can and reply back to any uh that needs a reply back to that's the hardest part of this job is staying active in the comment section and i promise you guys i'm going to get better over the next couple weeks uh, we're just so busy any time that i'm working out here in the garage or on the computer i'm normally editing i don't have time to sit and comment to everybody but i'm trying my best to get back in the routine of that so bear with me but let me know what you think about this build it is sick this is going to be the baddest deuce on the planet and uh it's going to make some crazy power with that turbo we got to turn the fuel up and do all kinds of stuff so let's know what you think about it super pumped make sure to check out the links in the video description those help us out a ton thank you so much for watching and all your support we love you guys and god bless